This is your beginner's guide to help you learn about cold air intakes and intakes in general. And before you swipe, make sure you stick around to the end because you probably already have a cold air intake and don't even know. My name is Matt. I love driving and filming cars and this is Rocket's Drive Club. A cold air intake moves the location of where the engine gets its cold air to a cooler location away from the engine itself. This cooler air is richer in oxygen, which helps the engine run more efficiently, but without a tune and maybe an upgraded exhaust to help with the airflow, you probably won't notice a significant difference. Also, many cold air intakes come with a heat shield to keep the hot engine parts from warming up the air, making sure the air stays cool for the best performance. The key points here are moving the location of where the engine is sourcing its air from in order to get cooler air. The cooler, the better. That's like moving your mouth and nose to your neck so you can breathe more efficiently, right? Well, no, and yes, I actually sat here and thought about that. It's more like breathing through your nose is your factory air box on some cars, but only some cars. I'll explain in a minute. While breathing through your mouth is like a cold air intake. But wait a minute, there is something called a short ram intake, in it? Well, the idea behind this is that factory intakes are restrictive, so let's just in theory remove the restriction. And then add a cone on the end just for poops and giggles. That way, we can ram as much air into the engine as possible. And that's horsepower, baby, yeah. yeah! No. While doing this on older Econo cars back in the day was beneficial, and it does make your engine sound louder and sometimes better. Your engine also generates a lot of heat, so in theory, you have a hot air intake. But don't worry, my little driving enthusiast. We're here to learn. If you're a victim of having a short ram intake, there may be a solution for you. Follow today and inquire about what a heat shield can do for you. Heat shields are designed to isolate the intake from the engine base hot air. But that's not all. With some pipe and a little bit of know-how, you too can become an airbender. Find a location at the front of your car that you think is best for airflow. This is for educational purposes only. And Rocker, no Rocker's Drive Club is responsible or liable if your dumb ass drives to a puddle. This is car customization. For lack of better reference though, think about the Challenger, Hellcat or Demon, I don't know which one. One of the headlights is actually replaced as an air dam, straight to the air box to supply cooler air. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Inspect the front of your car, like around the grill area. Sometimes manufacturers already thought about getting cool air to the air box. So your car might already have cold air being directed to the air box and changing it might lower your performance, even with the tune. If you're streeting your car around, maybe you're better off with a panel filter from Spectre or K&N. Not sponsored by them, by the way. You wanna keep learning something? Hit that subscribe button and let's talk about